guys make miracles happen once again, this time on an even more dangerous pick for the early game. It's time for game number four. SRG now on the blue side, up against Falcons AP Bren on the red. It's the battle for match point for Falcons AP Bren. One game away from match point for SRG, a bit further on the climb. You know, I was talking about how, all right, on the Novaria, it's a great pick, especially considering this is the first time that we get to see Falcons AP Bren, at least in the knockout stage, on Utility back mm -hmm. again. So Novaria provides a lot of good poke, and then obviously when the Lolita came up, it's just like, ah, oh, can't believe I forgot about this, right? The pick that was able to send their bitter rivals, Liquid Echo, in the semifinals, out. They were able to counter Edith and carry, it was. Uh, yeah, and I, I think the troll pick is actually a pretty good substitute for it, right? Because again, you're fighting for that mid prio. You are going to take mm -hmm. some damage. You need some way to kind of not only defend yourself, but clear that waves effectively. Here we go. Good damage down. Don Flapteezy goes in, still Flapteezy, still able to use the vengeance, but now the swing of the hammer ties with first blood. Did he forget that Barry was in play? I don't know, that was kind of weird. That was kind of weird from Flappy. Definitely could have like completely disengaged, but let's see if they're gonna get- Ooh. No! Another one on top of that! Great start for Silango Red Giants. A kill onto Skies, a kill onto Kram. That's XP Pryo and Jungle Pryo. I think that honestly solves a lot of the problems we were yeah. worried about for SRG. Now the early game is actually somewhat doable this time around. Maybe, I don't know, it could just be like blue side being the ultimate side at this point, right? Is that, I think that's what we're kind of devoting it to. So far that has been the case. And now again, Yom's able to clear out the mid lane. Level 4 advantage for Falcons AP Brent. But take a look at Flap TZ. Uncharacteristically, not level 4 at the first turtle. Cram swing a hammer down. Flap TZ down to half. Yom's dealing some damage again as Cram pops in a penalty zone. Cal TZ in the midst of it all right now on the neutral objective. We'll be able to find this. Flap gets the shielding. Spear of Destruction, oh, one last shot should do it, but Flop again is able to survive with just one HP. Skies on the chain, finds him with a plus Flop, still able to go for a lot of those shots, but the cables are inevitable. He's mad. Flap TZ's mad. He's like, oh man, maybe Yums just didn't see like the little slight left bit of green left on his health. Let's have a look at this one more time. His skies, again, Ooh. great call on this one, right? For all we know, Flap TZ, he hits level four just in time and tries to sustain through that damage. If he connected with that final slash, that could have bought him at least one more second of time for somebody to find the trade back, especially since Ogwin on this Lolita has single target lockdown with the charge. At this point in time, with Fanny having an EXP lead, that's a great Oh, oh, Ooh. wait, now they have prior, prior over this. Are they going to send the mid lane over to it? No, no, they're not. No, it's just back and forth again for SRG. They have this lead, so no real reason to actually force a lot of these fights. And you can get to see that uh, interaction with the Bulwark, sending mm -hmm. it back towards the Navaria. But SRG, actually, they're holding out in the mid lane very well, too, when it comes to clear with the dragon. Walking over went down straight into the Blades of Skies. 3-0. and oh. That was a great idea. This is a great idea. This is why I really liked the Cho pick when we see uh, when we see Yum's play. Yes, he wants to make highlights, but at the same time, there's a lot of interesting interactions. And most importantly, he can cancel out uh, Ogun's Numenon Blast wow. early. He can kick him out of position. And the same can be said about Kyle Teezy when we come down to these Lord situations. It's how do we utilize this way of the dragon effectively. Good Black Shoes usage there by a few. Able to evade from Skies' damage. But now he's on the purple buff, and Yums will have to buy some space. Stormy in the mid lane as well, trying to clear it out. Trying to get this prio for Skies. Kyle TZ already jumping onto Yums, trying to find a trade oh. for the purple buff. But Yums is going to be caught, forced to flicker around. Super Marco on the chase, the flicker. No, no flicker. It's just a few recalls. And is it with a pin down in the mid lane? What happened? You got picked off. <laughs> Not, I mean, everything is happening all at the same time. He's caught mid-rotation here, and now the penalty zone to look for more. Oh, Spear of Destruction as well. Now he's going to be innocent. Caught in the final slash, still able to evade right now, but Illuminati Blast is able to connect. He has the Purify, he baited out the Vengeance straight into the kick into another spear from Innocent. Dude, talk about well-played Innocent there, right? He purposefully delays until he sees the engagement, the Vengeance coming in from Flap TZ, hits that Purify so that he's stuck. Once he's on top of that Moskov, he's got nowhere else to dash because it goes on cooldown. Skies with the cable, though! He's able to steal it away again! This time a level ahead. 
It's not about the players anymore. It's it's blue side. It's something about blue side, right? <laughs> it's sorcery. How is this fair? How is blue side so dominant in this game thus far? I thought the draft coming up for Falcon Tape and Brandon is honestly not that bad, but considering these early interactions not falling into their favor, it looks like SRG really taking advantage of every single bit here. But same like last game, that mid-game spike from Falcon's AP brand. We need to see that happen. So far, Kyle Teasy hasn't been able to create too many opportunities just yet, but that's all due because some people are getting caught off. Other times, you just don't have the battle spells. Man, I just keep remembering now with this kind of performance on the Assassin's versus the Utility, I keep on remembering and recalling that interview with the Malaysian content creator. What is his name? I think it's DJY. Mm -hmm. He said, go Assassins. Assassin's number one, he said. Assassin's is the way to play the game, right? I mean, look at that. He's already got... Oh, my goodness. At least he's building up to a 2K lead on to Kyle TZ. Five minutes. Sorry, six minutes into this game. But that's when we see Falcon TP Brand, right? Their comp really comes online once they start grouping up together. Okay, Super Mark Blade read it out. Has the Purify. But now with the cable, the way the dragon comes in, comes those guys! Wow! It... Are we playing a mouse and keyboard or something? This <laughs> He's literally pointing, clicking, that man must die, and they find it each and every time. It's a target ability for Skies. Oh, it is. And it's about to get even worse for the side of Falcon's AP Brand if they keep on slipping up on these leads from SRG. And right now, the main attack dog, the initiator, Yums, he's doing so much this game. Doesn't have the way to drag in here, but will be able to knock him up. Clap easy to be knocked out. The penalty goal canceled. By the sun, Kyle TZ caught in the Astral Echo Innocent, now with the Abyss Walker as well, very low! No pin down, with the Spear of Misery, good cover from Ogwen. But he's, he's forced to recall out, that's a free neutral objective to the Assassin Jungler! Honestly, not too bad. At least Falcon Tapey Brent aren't giving anything over to SRG besides the Turtle. Oh, penalty zone though, on to few. Forcing him to use that Black Shoes, not that big of a deal. That's just an alt use. It's not like they're going to fight each other anyways, but SRG, I think they want to invade, and they're considering the options. Can, I mean, they've got the Way of the Dragon ready. They could do it, but at the same time, the lack of purple buff from, from Sakai's means that SRG just have to wait. You can see the difference in level already. This is why the Assassins have been able to find so much more value in this meta. The clear speed is ridiculous. On top of that, how fast you are, so mobile, you can go and catch a lot of these waves that most utility junglers will have to give up. It's a two-level lead for Skies. So finally, after three games, he finds himself ahead in level against Kyle Teasley. Hey, man, similar to SRG, Falcon's AP Brent have been known to flip fights over despite having massive losses in the earlier stages of the game. They're great at their timings. Both of these teams have a lot of similarities. Look at Skies. He's again pulling a Falcon's AP Brent away from each other, trying to not enable their comp. These cables from Skies, man. Cram in the mid lane. Oh. Goes for the penalty zone. Oh, the tenacity on the boots. Gets him out of the heavy spin. He flickers out of it. Meanwhile, down below, Skies! Man. What? I mean, what can you really say about that, right? It's just unlucky, I guess. I mean, Flapteezy, he's just not... He, he doesn't have enough stacks. He just got the Thunderbelt as well. He doesn't have enough hybrid defense to survive through it. And even if he does, technically it doesn't matter because this guy says the Malefic Roar. The more hybrid stats, the better it is for me. The more I'll just cut right through it. Man, Wolf and Leo, he, they were talking about, you know, Flapteezy on the Arlet. He should be able to do what he did at M5. He should be able to do what he did just two days ago. This is an unreal stat, 0-4-0. Zero, zero. Okay, we can't count them out just yet, right? But we know that the game has been accelerated to a point of no return. I think that from both sides, it could be like a quick game for SRG to move on, and Falcon Tapey Brand will then take blue side. Or if Falcon Tapey Brand really want to slow this down, we're hoping for some big plays from the initiators. Like, if not for Flap TZ, sure, maybe they can extend and guarantee uh, a fight win, but Ogren and as well as Kyle TZ need to work with some angles here against SRG. SRG. And unless Yums is caught slacking with that Shunpo, because right now he's playing mechanically perfect. Mm -hmm. This is a big problem, by the way, for Falcon's AP brand. Oh. Even the hand. <laughs> yeah, I'm not talking about Yums recalling, by the way. That's also a problem. You know, it's it's emotional damage that they are receiving every single tap of the recall. But really for SRG, it's how they're able to utilize the 131 formation as well. Mm -hmm. Fanny up top or Moskov up top and then someone else down below, Skies. You, you blink and you miss that, right? You blink and you die. Mm. Super Marco, great reaction time to evade from it. Without the win of nature, he really has to respect Skies' damage. And you can see for Innocent, he's already on to the Lord. 
Penalty is going to be chunked down. Penalty zone locking him down now with the help of Yoji. Who knows what? He misses the final slash, guys. Finds it. Okay, they're just going to back away at this point, right? SRG don't need to extend the lead. They've already committed. I mean, they got Flap TZ's final slash and the flicker as well. Maybe he's just looking for some sort of redemption in these fights. But it's, but it's fine, right? Falcons, they can technically lose their outer tier 1 and 2 in mid. They no. just need to make sure they high ground deep. Oh, God. Skies now. Oh, Skies! He's out of there. He's out of there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> this kid's insane. Few now gonna be caught in and it's able to take him down. Penalty zone locking him down as well. Meanwhile, way is the dragon from Yums! Skies again, looking for the assassination, gets knocked up before he can do anything. But they will be able to take some of these turrets. Base turret up top taken down from SRG 10 and 0 up against Falcons AP Bren. Open, forced back, forced to flick around. Still with no. the Lord. This is the first Lord of the game. And they're looking for the an end angle. Skies again with the cables. Okay. Okay, finally, finally I can breathe here. SRG, they've set up checkmate angle, and we haven't seen a checkmate angle in a long time here at the playoffs, right? A 10k gold lead for the side of SRG, a missing inhibitor from the side of Falcons AP Brand. On this le next lore take, Falcons AP Brand really need to discuss how they're going to approach this. Yes, they have zone control, but so far, SRG, now that the Lord Dance is more of a tango than it is a waltz, this push and pull is not in Falcon AP Bren's favor. Not at all. It really feels like they're just so far behind, and it is because they are far behind. Super Marco, super far behind, doesn't have the win of nature just yet. So even when he gets that win of nature, Stormy is going to be a constant threat. Remember, the Astral Echo straight into the almost unmissable Astral Spheres. He's going to have to build double time. Yep. Win of nature, rose gold, and he's going to have to do it quick because this snowball is getting out of control. Yeah, it doesn't help the fact that even if we want to see Super Mako to go for the cleanup, Innocent can almost guarantee deal with him 1v1 because he already has the Winds of Nature in his backpack. With six kills on this man, three kills on Moscow, and one on Terizla, SRG are in prime position. Now, I think from SRG's side, the difference between game uh, this game and the previous is the fact that they were very honest. But now that they have mechanical heroes that really show the skill expression micro-wise, it's really forcing Falcons AP Bren to take their time, right? Their slow approach has costed them a lot, but right now SRG refusing to make, make too many mistakes. Not at all. No mistakes, it seems, right now. Good bull work. They're to send it back. Ram taking a whole lot of damage. Half HP. Skies again threatening some of these resources. Perhaps Innocent gonna be able to go for the invade. Counties, he secures the purple buff. So not losing too much here. But again, Falcons AP Bren, a big problem that they're gonna have to face is the fact that the base turret up top in the far lane has been taken down. And SRG were already winning out early with the 131. Counties, he got pinned down. Oakwind got baited in towards the jump. Now Flicker's oh. back, penalty zone! Crab able to find three in the middle blast, canceled out by the penalty zone! Innocent in the back! Finally, the Spear of Destruction! Meanwhile, though, Super Marco gets the blazing new F-Lap. TZ absolutely melted down, but they are able to find a trade. Innocent very low, still able to kite back, now with Purify as well. Going back and forth, the Bulwark, trading it back, almost bouncing it away. Skies again! Trying to go for the assassination, will be able to escape with the shielding. A good shot down onto Ogwen. It was all just one for one. No purple buff dip, and oh my god, Ogwen made that work. No, they wouldn't. They two, can't, right? Two seconds on Kyle, one second on Kyle on that retribution. Now both off Yums. Looking for the play, now gonna be taken very low. Still has a way to drag his guys on it. That's a Fusion. Kyle Taze steals it away, recovers it for Falcons AP Brennis. Yums gets gunned down by Super Marco, who's gonna go for more, but innocent again with a spear. Now into the back, but it gets so back. <laughs> oh, when the master at work. A double kill, you know what? Let's give it to him. Innocent getting a triple kill, one being himself, dying to the bulwark. Oh, Quinn, two times in a row, may have just saved them from the checkmate angle on top of a steal from Kyle TZ. They out sustained, and the final slash onto Graham. They get this, well done. Good displacement, Cram has the penalty zone, decides what? to use it onto few. But a few hammer swings, almost gonna get to trade right now, but gets stunned down. That's another stun into the vengeance, into the brooms. 
But at the bottom lane, SRG are still able to get rid of the Lord. Look at this, right? Everybody gets chunked out super, super low. Like, Innocent wants to stay healthy here, but he's getting chunked out as few walks forward. Those black shoes really making it annoying. He can take as much damage here as he wants to take the black shoes back, and now he's basically at full health. And then the steal coming in from Kyle oh, because man. the guys couldn't get the reset. What can you really do about that? And you can tell, that even backstage, the rest of the members of Valkyrie's AP brand, they're <laughs> loving it. And Yum's probably laughing at his fellow counterpart, Golden Laner. I mean, that's a, that's an interaction that everybody wants to see in their ranked games, you know? <laughs> like the Moscow killing himself against the Gaius <laughs> Bulwark. <laughs> It's not fun as the Moscow, trust hey, me. Hey, <laughs> not at all. Just wait for the Star Shattered. <laughs> <laughs> if that actually happens, if you get sniped down by yourself, technically, that's a, that, that'll the, be the only interaction that tops the Moscow kill, right? Oh, Good okay. pin down. And it's not the Super Marco. He's able to react in time, but he does save the Purify. Man, the patience on Marco. It's crazy. It's really crazy because now it's come to a point where Falcon's AP Brent, even if Ogwin gets kicked out of the way, few can start walking up and get free damage. And more importantly, Kyle TC is now tanky enough to actually push them out of the way. Man, Kram is... Wow, okay. Wasn't expecting that much damage to be being pumped out by Super Marco. Me neither. Skies trying to bait out a few of these abilities. Super Marco in the back. We're really using the Purify right now. Kram's going to be pinned down as he goes for the penalty zone. Skies is going to play. Missing the cables. Getting stunned up. Still able to get the shielding, now the few gets the cutthroat. Unable to find for anything else, few. Looking for the chase, but Kram is, oh, there you go. It almost hit. Almost Maybe hit. that could have been the one. Ah, uh, no, I don't no. think he would have died just yet, but at this point in time, it just goes to show they've hit their power spikes and finally passed the mid game into the later stages of the game. They're eventually going to outscale Slango Red Giants in these super prolonged fights. Every time that Guardian Bulwark comes up, SRG has to completely avoid Ogwin. And now, let's have a look at the items so far, because now I'm finally seeing somebody building some magic resist. Mm -hmm. We got the Radiant Armor coming in from Kram, but. That's the reason he hasn't really been able to soak in as much damage as possible up against Super Marco. Mm -hmm. Even with the Queen's Wings, he's still getting shredded down. So maybe go, I don't know, at this point, what does he want to go for, right? Like, do you want to go Blade Armor to try to at least push that damage back onto Marco whenever he does go for a shred? Oh, no, no, you hate to see it. You hate to see it, guys. He's been perfect all game. He's 6-0. <laughs> But it happens to everyone. It's not just you in a ranked game, buddy man. All you fanny players, it's not just you. It happens to the best of us, even to the prince of the skies. Oh my goodness. All right, regardless, right, it doesn't mean too much at the end of the day, right? I, there's a good chance that Super Marco probably might have been able to survive that situation, but here comes the Astro Echo to reveal everybody. Good shot. He's actually half HP, is able to sustain back up with the DHS and that QC. Back to the Lord now. Can we choke down? Sky's in the back line trying to go for a flank angle. Crap, oh. taking a whole lot of punishment. Oh, this is so interesting. This is so very interesting. Because now they find the angle. Way the dragon, but it's not going to be baited in. Penalty zone locked on down. They're going to blast as low as that to be few very low. Still with the help of the damage. Super Marco blazing new wet. With the purified too, and chasing off the Stormy, waiting in the back, going back innocent now, finding the kill on the Black Teasy, as Super Marco gets taken out, SRG are winning the fight! It's Ogwen, who's standing in the middle, all alone, the sole member, it's a roamer, and he can't do anything, and not against Cram! And that is it! That's game! That's game number four, two to two here, from both of these teams! Well done! The